It's the yard. Put all the work in right here. Every day, we're playing ball. Every day, playing ball. It was a humble training ground and their common ground. Every morning, every night, no breaks. Where one brother helped shape another, just not in the way either imagined. It was just making me want to go harder and harder. Every drive, every play, every game, no matter how hard it was, he was always there. Growing up in Yazoo County, Mississippi, Curtis, Kenny, and Corey Gainwell played everything all the time against each other. Oh, we're real competitive. Believe that. You can look at a couple holes in the wall and tell they're competitive. <laughs> oh, man. It was a lot of fights. <laughs> I can tell you that. But Curtis, he was like the one that like, always showed us the ropes and like, made sure we did everything right. After graduating from high school in 2013, Curtis went to Southern Miss, hoping to walk on to the football team. He was lifting weights there that September when his life changed. I had a headache. I didn't feel good that day. I knew there was something wrong, but I didn't know it was going to be a stroke. He was in ICU, and what he had was a serious bleed to the brain. 18 years old, Curtis would endure three brain surgeries in one day by the time his family could see him. I just seen just like my baby was there and couldn't move. If I didn't get to the hospital in time, I could have been gone. Could have been gone. It just scared me really to just see him on the bed after all the things that we went through and what hell we had done as little kids. And it was up in the room on the seventh floor. I was telling him, man, I always, Curtis, just know I got you. I always got you, bro, no matter what. Having survived, Curtis's recovery would be slow, hard, and long. He had to learn how to walk again, how to talk, everything. He just went all the way back to a newborn baby. I went to therapy like Monday through Friday, like when I'm going to work. I'm talking about every day. He always sending me videos on the phone, showing me what he was doing. He was trying to push himself to like get back right. I guess his grind was just like my grind. The big brother in recovery would challenge the little brother on the field and in the yard, as Kenny became a prep star in Mississippi. How did you push him? By looking at it right there in his eye, I say, bro, I feel my pain. And you get what he said, I feel it, bro. I saw you in that bed. You want to get out of that bed and walk. He would make us just come out there early in the morning, go from the tire to the ladder, straight from the ladder to some weights, because he was my motivation. Knowing that he wasn't gone, he could have been gone. Curtis is still here with a limp limited on his right side. And that's the motivation Kenny's carried with him from Mississippi to Memphis. And the inspiration he used this season to make history. As the first player in 22 years with 200 yards receiving and 100 yards rushing in a single game. Unbelievable! And into the end zone! My brother stroke made me work hard as I could. Every time I even think about it when I'm on the field, it just explodes out of me. He said, bro, everything that I do out there on that field, everything I do, bro, I dedicate it to you. It's the same thing. I got you, bro. I always have your back. No matter what, I got you. What's up? Thank you so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. Don't forget to download the ESPN app. And if you want more premium content, which you do, make sure that you subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. See you soon.